Good day everyone! For today's topic, Software Applications and Platforms. Before we get deeper on our topic, let us review your knowledge of the different online platforms and their categories. Identify the following online platforms and give a short description. Now try to enumerate and identify which of these platform you are using with. Okay, now you identify, let's move on. Different types of online platforms. Web search engines. It is a software system designed to search for the information on the World Wide Web. The search results are generally presented in a line of results referred to as search engine results pages or SERPs. So students, you have to remember that we have lots of browser. Internet Explorer, Opera, Google, Chrome, and so many more. Now, you might ask what's the difference between a web search engine and a web browser. Take note class that the browser installed program that is on a computer. While the Google search engine is a website you got to using that program. That's why if you search sa Google Chrome na browser, ipupunta ka niya sa Google search engine pag maghahanap ka ng mga words or certain topics na gusto mong mahanap. Okay, so I have a trivia. You know what? After 25 long years, the Microsoft will no longer support Internet Explorer. Alam naman natin lahat na yan ang unang browser na ginamit natin. Hindi na susuportahan yan ng Microsoft. Starting August 2021, hindi na masusuportahan ng Microsoft ang Internet Explorer. Bagkus, meron na silang bago. From here, to here, ito na yung bagong logo, which is the Edge Browser. Alam naman natin na ang Internet Explorer, yan ang unang browser na ginamit natin sa pagkagamit or pag-access ng internet. Communication Services These are outsourced enterprise communication solutions that can be leased from a single vendor or provider. A communication service provider is a provider that transports information electronically and can encompass public and private companies in telecom, internet, cable, satellite, and managed services business. You know what? The prominent companies providing telecommunication services are PLDT and Globe Telecom. The two aforementioned companies are the leading players in the industry. Kaya nga, meron tayo mga communication services providers like the Smart, PLDT, Sky, Globe, and Sun Cellular. How about a payment system? Payment system, it is any system used to settle financial transactions through the transfer of monetary value and includes the institutions, instruments, people, rules, procedures, standards, and technologies. What, whatever payment method types like credit cards, mobile payment, bank transfer, e-wallets, and prepaid cards. Meron tayong yung PayPal, Cebuana, meron rin tayong yung GCash ngayon. Advertising platforms. It allows users to create and manage advertising campaigns, generate reports, and retrieve information about the ads, campaigns, and organizations associated with an account. With the advent of technology, these types of payments are now being done through online transactions. It has made payments and sending or receiving money more comfortable, convenient, less hassle, and not time-consuming for people. Payment transactions are useful in many ways. These are cash or bills and chains, 
it is one of the most useful ways to use for any purchase. Personal checks. It is ordered through one's account. The debit card. When using this, the buyer takes the money directly out of his account. Now, let us explore more of social applications and platforms. First, we have social media. Social media are forms of electronic communication as websites for social networking and microblogging through which users create online communities to share information, ideas, personal messages, and other content as videos. Remember class, pag sinabi natin social media, these are like with pictures, videos, and audios like YouTube, Snapchat, and SoundCloud. Social networking. Pag social networking naman, it is connecting to each other. That's why in our previous lesson, we enumerate the six types of media. Now, what is the difference between social media and social networking? These are forms of media. Essentially, social media is a platform for broadcasting information. Whereas, social networking is a platform for communicating with one another. Social media is a communication channel. Whereas, in social networking, communication has a two-way nature. That's why, in our lesson, we have types of social media. Namely, social networks, book site, bookmarking sites, social news, Media sharing, microblogging, blog and blogs and forums. Even with the distinction being given, some nuances can be pointed out as an example of how they differ and yet somewhat overlap Facebook as a social networking site. You register and post your profile, connect with friends, and comment on topics in a generally interactive way. On that same social networking site, companies set up a presence and use Facebook as a way to promote their brand and gain followers. Now, a platform for advertising. We have Facebook. Facebook advertising is picking up speed in the business world. It uses social graph and activities to pinpoint those who fall into your buyer demographics, making Facebook ads incredibly useful. Facebook ads are more likely to be in strong leads that are looking for your services. They help make sure your advertising budget is not wasted on those who are not interested in what you are offering. Facebook makes your product or service put into the hands of the exact person who wants it. That's why during pandemic, naging uso ang magbenta through online and one of the platform that they are using with the young entrepreneurs and the entrepreneurs, they using Facebook. Kaya nga may mga gumagawa ng Facebook page para dun sila nagbebenta and then dun nagko-confirm yung mga customer para bumili. How about in platform for hashtagging? Twitter. Twitter is a fast-paced, concise, and easy way to connect with your audience with over 310 million registered users and growing. Twitter is a sea of information of 140 characters or less content waiting to be read, clicked, followed, and retweeted. When marketing on Twitter, you need to have content that is enticing to stop and click through. People are usually scrolling quickly to take more than just a simple text to stop them in their tracks. Make sure when you are constructing your tweaks, you are making people want to click through. Kaya nga diba, yung ginagamit nating hashtag sa Twitter. Short updates and then if you wish to have a, some simple um, memories and some words need to identify, you use hashtag. Platform for grouping LinkedIn LinkedIn is a different from the press of the social media outlets because it is especially designed for businesses and professionals. Users mainly go to LinkedIn 
to showcase their job, experience, and professional totes, making it one of the most important platforms to use for those in B2B or business-to-business. -business. LinkedIn is a valuable tool not only for driving traffic, but prospecting, establishing tote leadership as well as recruiting. That's why LinkedIn is a professional networking site. This is designed to help people making business connections, share their experience and resumes. A platform for teaching, we have YouTube. YouTube is the leading video sharing platform in the world. On your channel, your brand can share and edit videos, create playlists, and prompt discussions. This is an example of a social media. How about in platform for analyzing business? We have Pinterest. Pinterest is one of the unique marketing platforms on this list. Instead of posting content for your audience to read, on Pinterest, you will post just a clickable picture and a short caption. Pinterest is a top-rated platform for brands with a tangible product. We have clothing and food brands, restaurants, those in e-commerce. Pinterest is a visual discovery engine for finding ideas like recipes, home, and style, inspiration, and more. Okay, technology tips naman tayo. So, I'll give you study hacks every student must know para mas lalo tayong gumana mag-aral. You would like to need to memorize something? So, these are the following things that you have to remember. First, read it 10 times. Basahin mo ng 10 beses. Para ang paulit-ulit para hindi mawala. Pangalawa or second, say it loud 10 times. Pag binabasa mo, dapat malakas rin para nareretain sa utak mo ng 10 times. Pangatlo, write it down twice. Siyempre, pag Binasa mo, then nilakasan mo mag ang pagbabasa mo, and then syempre kailangan mo ding isulat ng dalawang beses. Okay? How about, ano naman ang mga oras na pwedeng mag-aral? The best time to study, in 4am to 6am, your brain function is 100%. Kasi fresh pa yan pag umaga. Kaya nare-retain lahat ng mga details. 6 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. naman, ang brain function mo, 50% na lang. Pag night time, ang brain function, 20%. Kasi, syempre, pagod na yung utak natin, yung mga brain cells, that's why, medyo konti na lang na-absorb. And the last thing, take a walk before exam. Okay. So, exercise boosts memory and brain power. Okay? So, disclaimer lang. So, these are only for those who would like. Technology trivia naman tayo. You know what? Android was originally created as an operating system for a digital cameras. Ang Android, hindi talaga dati pang cellphones. Ito ay ginamit for OS ng mga digital cameras. Madami ang nangahas bumili nito, kaso hindi nag-succeed. And you know what? The word Android means a human with a male robot appearance. That's all for our topic. Thank you and... Keep safe.